Welcome everybody to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. And we'll find out here today which side has the toughness and the depth to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads. As we'll see the number six seed in this playoff, the Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Miami Hurricanes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit, and here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? Kickoff team out there. We are about to get cranked up for the semifinal collision. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. So Miami's offense will start in a bad spot here thanks to that return. I love being in Miami for the Orange Bowl. So much history and tradition. So many championships have been won in this game. But Kirk, they've been playing this since 1935. Can you tell me who won that first Orange Bowl? You know what's funny? Is I actually asked the Sunshine Scooter, who's from Miami, just in case you might ask me that question so I have an answer. And Miami played Miami the Bison of Bucknell, and Bucknell upset them. Talk about a team coming out of left field and going off an upset even back then. But who would have guessed how much this game in the college football world would change since then? That's a strong run. Keeps the drive going. First down now. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. A solid game. Moves the ball to the 37. Great job by the offensive line here. Opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller. Allow him to make that defense think. Are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Looking for some space. It's Fletcher. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Boy, this back is running very well today and living up to so many great backs that they've had over the years at Miami. Edger and James and Frank Gore and Willis McGahee and Clinton Portis. All those guys won a lot of games and ran the ball well. Right now, they got to be loving what they're seeing from this back. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards, sets up a nice second and two. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. And completion makes it second and short. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. The first down, pick up, tackled at the 45. And that's how you keep the opening drive alive right there. Good, hard, tough running to be able to pick up that first down and the third down conversion. To throw, it's Ward. Pressure is coming. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Fletcher. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drop. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive game. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no game. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down. Almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. He's got it, and that is enough for a first down. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. Boy, the defense is in the right coverage here. It looked like they had exactly what they wanted to be able to come up with a stop here on fourth down. But there's the timing between a quarterback and the receiver. They knew exactly where they needed to go. Great timing and a first down. Graham behind the line. It's the Royal. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. 
Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third and short, they hand the ball off. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him the third down, they hold up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back of coming up with that conversion. First and goal, try to run it in. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Second down and goal. Dropping back, it's Ward. Running out of time in the pocket. Makes a quick grab. And he'll be brought down. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown for the U. You come out in the playoff game, Kirk. No signs of rust for the offense immediately. Yeah, no jitters at all. After the layoff, I wondered how they might be able to come out and communicate and they actually just the, the rhythm to the offense. But they did not hesitate. They set the tone early. Now they got themselves a lead. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Now they get set to kick it away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. The Buckeyes offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow it down. The impact players are just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. They stop them after a six-yard game, so second and four. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. It has been a tough first half in this playoff game for this offense. They cannot get anything going through the air. Not only are they down the scoreboard, but there's really nothing to build around as we get ready to go into the second half. The ball is free in the backfield. And the defense jumps on the football. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. back on the field. Let's see if he can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. To the air. It's Ward. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, the defense sits back in his zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback, recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. The Canes are going to cash in this red zone trick. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Looking to pass here on second down. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. 
That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice ball here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. The Hurricanes come to the line with first and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Defense expecting run. They'll stop him short of the goal line. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. On second and goal, they'll give him another chance. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricanes. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. And they get set now to try the BAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Being set to kick the ball off now. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. The game makes it second and medium. DB's looking to jam the receivers at the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. The junior able to bring him down quickly. That game sets up a third down play. To throw, it's Howard. Tight end makes the grab. They tackle him at the 48, but it's enough for a new first down. Now we're starting to see this offense look like they've looked all year long. Listen, to be able to get to a playoff opportunity, your offense has got to be able to show an ability to hit throws like this on third down. They hit it, they keep the drive alive, now they have a chance to put points on the board. The sure hands, it's Tate. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. The downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. Well, this defense has been incredible all year long, and they continue to be that way in the postseason. Just getting after this offense with... And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. But guys will have to kick this away. And he should be able to pin them back deep here with his first punt. Punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 15. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. A beautiful, balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? First down here for this offense. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. He lets it go on the move. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the flip down. A nice throw and a great catch here by this Miami Hurricane wide receiver. And for our younger audience out there who might be watching this game, I gotta tell you, you may not remember this, but Miami set the tone for wide receiver play for decades, and they're working their way to get back to that now. With the catch, it's Fletcher. Even surrounds him, just a short gain on that completion. And they get some positive yards here, but just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, I kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Shotgun formation, here's an inside give. They get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. Good job up front by this offensive line and good hard running for this Miami Hurricane back. He's doing everything he can to live up to the long legacy that the Canes have with this running back position. Receiver in motion now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Oh, the quick throw. The ball's incomplete. Everything 
about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Third down coming up. Kirk, as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. And the first quarter is in the books. What is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. We'll see if this game gets out of hand before halftime. The crucial second quarter beginning right now. First play of the quarter is a crucial one. Offense trying to convert this third down. Back in motion now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Caught in the backfield. It's Martinez. Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. Boy, another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. And completion sets up a second down play. going to run it here. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Back to throw. It's Ward. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. It's a good job by the defense here on this third down, and now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. The offense already has one fourth down conversion. They do it for a second time. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's George. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice game. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground. But the next tip ball could be going the other way. And the Canes have first and ten here. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Looking for six. Touchdown, Canes. This offense cannot be stopped. That's the kind of execution that's built on the practice field. A very precise pitch and catch for a touchdown. Now, when we were out of practice, one thing that really stood out to me about this receiver was his ability to separate with his route running ability. You could see that right there on game day and how that shows up for a touchdown. Well, they try to add the lead now for PAT. Convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16 with the better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Off the play fake on first down. Snags the quick throw. They've got him after a seven-yard game. So second and three. They'll hand it off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. 
Well, Chris, this is going to set up a big third down now for this offense. They're down early in the game. All the hype and the pressure on a playoff game. You don't want to dig yourselves too big of a hole. they got to keep this drive alive, so they need to convert right here. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. Good enough for first down yardage. The Buckeyes come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Good job here by this offense coming up with his first down on the third down play. They knew they're going to have to deal with a lot of pressure. Did their job. Gave the quarterback time. They confirmed. And listen, you're down early in this game. Every possession matters. You need points on this drive. And they're able to have that chance now with that conversion. Second down, we're going to throw it. Goes incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. This quarterback's got to be so frustrated. He's got an open receiver. He makes a good throw with a good route from his intended target. But this defensive back makes a heck of a play on the ball and knocks it away. Grab down the middle. It's Scott. And they keep the drive going. It's a first half of the 46. The Buckeyes keep the football on the move. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. A completion makes it second and medium. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They stop him, but it's a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. You know, Chris, what a great run here. You think about Ohio State, you think lately about those NFL-ready wide receivers. But we all know it starts with their running games, all those great backs they've had over the years. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. And completion makes it second and short. Here's that defense shifting again. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Back to throw. It's Howard. The pocket breaking down. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football. And it brings up a third down. The offense ready for play number 10 in this drive. They'll try to run for the first down. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. They stop him right at the 24. Chris, I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half, so really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action, opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. Caught near the sticks, it's Martinez. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Handoff here from the shotgun. And the runner brought down right at the 38 yard line. Chris, it's the consistency of this back has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Solid game, moves the ball to a 43. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? They lose the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. How about that, Chris? Third down and two. They get just enough. I thought they might bring the sticks out to measure. It was so close. But they're going to give them the first down. That's just trusting your back to get the yards you need for the first down. And that one's picked off. What a play. He's got some room and some blockers here. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the defense adds six with an interception return. 
And the interception taken to the house, a pick six potential game-changing play there. Man, nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose. Now the all-important extra point. PAT is good. They slammed into the kicker, and penalty markers are down. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that no, penalty, of course. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. That's a deep kickoff hammered out the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Miami offense is back on the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Looking to throw. It's Ward. Wow, lays out and makes a spectacular catch. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. A regressive D again on first and ten. Ball handed off. And tackled after a small pickup there. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Oh, and he dropped it. You do not see that very often from this guy. He's going to bring up third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Oh, and another incompletion. The Canes will have to kick it away. It's a low punt, won't travel very far. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They had a long drive going last time, but it's stalled. Looking to reach the end zone, this possession. Pulls it in. It's a Buka. Taken down, but not before he makes the first down. Buckeyes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. And you know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, staying holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Send the back in motion. Back to pass. It's Howard. Looking for his big tight end. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up the third down. Chris, you see what happens when you try to squeeze it into double coverage. An incompletion is probably the best result you could have hoped for. Because an interception is the most likely outcome when you're throwing the ball into the crowd. He pulls it in for a big game. Brought down quickly, but not before a big game. Moving to the 35. The Buckeyes lining up here on first and ten. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Oh, that one's picked off. And he's got some open field ahead. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Really nice job of mixing up the looks here by this defense. Sometimes man, sometimes zone. They fool the quarterback here completely, and he throws the pick. takes the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. 
Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. This pass is caught. That picks up a first down. A spot it at the 39. A new set of downs after that completion. They'll change the pre-snap look now. On first and ten, looking to throw. On the run here. Let's it go. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Another great play by this receiver. And I tell you, the offense coordinator is doing a nice job of moving him around. The defense knew coming into this game how tough he'd be to stop, but the way they're utilizing him is making it very challenging to be able to create the matchups that the defense wants. First down, looking to throw the football. Fires it to the wide out, and it's incomplete, just out of the reach of the receiver. The incompletion sets up a second down. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Quick throw, misses his mark there, incomplete. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Got him for a sack, a big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. The timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. The Hurricanes bring their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. This is a low liner. This won't go a long way. The fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? So here we go, the first play of the drive, less than a minute to play before halftime. Pulls it in, it's Henderson. Breaks loose at the 40. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The game leaves the ball past the 40, sets up another first and 10. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. That's caught, it's Smith. And a big game down near the 29. They're threatening. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. First and 10 now for the offense. From the shotgun, drops back. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Caught behind the line, it's Henderson. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. On third down, he drops to throw. Makes the catch downfield. Touchdown, Ohio State. Strong game by this quarterback. I love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. They were turning from inside the 10-yard line. Man, he's brought down after a solid effort on that return. Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. And looking to throw now on first down. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. And it's incomplete. Tried for a big play there as time runs out in the first half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, we wondered all week what this matchup would look like. So much at stake in this win or go home game. And we've been treated to a fabulous first two quarters of playoff football. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines. 
But it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. The Canes will kick this away to get the second half going. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. First play of the second half was a handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. The Buckeyes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. The defense with more pre-snap movement. Grab behind the line, it's Tate. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz. Dropping back, it's Howard. He'll take a deep shot. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. Look out, he's got some space. That's a potential game changer. The pick and the big return. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. And here comes the Miami offense back out on the field. First down, looking to throw the ball. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. An incompletion makes it second and ten. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with are defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Grab behind the line. It's Martinez. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. The Hurricanes will come to the line. Looking to keep the drive going on fourth down. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Caught over the middle. It's Horton. Oh, they stopped him short. What a fourth down play, and they will take over on downs now. He'll hand it off. They'll tackle him out across the 20. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Important second down play coming up. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Solid gain there. Moves the ball up to the 32. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. The shotgun handoff here. Solid game, moves the ball to the 37. It's a good, solid game, five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The game makes it second and medium. Dropping back, it's Howard. And here comes a deep shot. The catch is made for a huge pickup. They could not stop him, he's in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Extra point try coming now. He knocks through the PAT and ties the score here in the third period. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Set to kick this one away. 
And it's fielded. Return to trying to make something happen. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Ball handed off. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and the run fits on that play. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. The short completion of the tight end. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Restrepo. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The key on a drag route is to put the ball out in front of the wide receiver to give him a chance to do what he just did. Pick up some valuable yards after the catch. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Scanning the field, it's Ward. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Third down play for this offense. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Fights through the tackle. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first time. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. Bringing pressure. Caught over the middle. It's Restrepo. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. That's second and 10 after the previous play. On the run, it's Fletcher. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in this playoff game, no adjustments, no right back to giving this running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Well within field goal range now, but they're hoping for more as they line up here on third down. Here comes the handoff. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. A great job here by this defense. It's going to be fourth down and one. They bent, but they did not break. But we'll see if the offense elects to go for it here on this fourth down play. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. And the Canes will line up here on first down and goal. Quarterback making some changes at the line. To the air. It's Ward. Defense is coming after him. He finds the running back in the flat. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. Fans of the defense got to be frustrated. The offense cannot be stopped here. And here's the handoff. Ball carrier tackled there. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. We'll see what the offense dials up here on third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Touchdown, Miami. They'll take the lead in the second half. It's an easy job for the play caller, right, Kurt? They can't stop the running back. Feeding the ball scores again. Yeah, I came into this game really thinking we'd see more from this quarterback and all these wide receivers that they have, but instead, it has been the back. And as a smart play caller, you just keep going back to the guy with the hot hand. So with the PAT, they take a seven-point lead, 28-21. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start from the 25. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. 
Breaks the tackle to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. That's a short return, but the pick wipes out a scurry threat and sets up the offense at the 33. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? On first down, it's play action. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. Just much like we saw in the first half, this quarterback can put the ball right on the money. Now, you know the defensive coordinator at halftime spent all the time he could with his secondary to come up with answers on how to try to slow this guy down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Can he make it to the marker? Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. Well, they continue to play good football up front. A nice run, a nice conversion here, and most importantly, working with that lead. You keep working that clock. You're trying to advance to that next round of the postseason. It's a quick grab. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards, and they stay ahead of the sticks. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Takes the handoff. It's Martinez. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Looking downfield, it's Ward. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. Finds just enough space and makes the first down. Another big play by this offense, and it continues to be the pass game between the offensive line, the receivers running good routes, and this quarterback making really accurate throws. They are dynamic and a tough offense to stop. Coming to the line on second down, this is even important. They want to avoid a third and long. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Has caught. Can he get in? And he stopped him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. The defense backed up against their own end zone. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown for the U. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add the lead now to the VAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. 
as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. And as we reach the end of three, time is running out in this crucial contest for both these programs to stay alive in the quest for a national championship. Let's check out the game summary before we move on. All right, here comes the fourth quarter. Everything to play for here. Who's going to stay alive, survive, and advance in the college football playoff? Bringing it out, it's Smith. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. What guys will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense? Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Have been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Second down after that run on the previous play. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Dropping back. It's Howard. Receiver makes the catch. He's brought down, but a solid gain moves the ball across midfield to the 41. The Buckeyes looking to keep this drive rolling. Play action here on first down. Throws to the tight end. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Tackle made after a big game. Trying to find some room. It's Henderson. Second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Off the RPO, caught to the right. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him in the scoring position. But they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Press coverage now from the secondary. Going to pick up the third and short through the air. Throws it too far over everyone's head and incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Knocks that one right down the middle. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. And the defense come up with answers this time. One man to the backfield, and he'll get the football. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Scanning the field. It's Ward. Oh, and he misfires just beyond the receiver's grasp. It's now third down. Offense facing a third and long from the 25. What's the call going to be? Quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And it's intercepted with a desperation Whoa. throw here. And that's a solid return after the interception. Well, a risky call by the offensive coordinator playing with the lead in the playoff in the second half, throwing the football. I don't disagree with it, but now you give this defense a chance to create a turnover, and they capitalize here with the pick. 
Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. And they tackle him right there, but that's a turnover. Boy, the offense just could not afford to throw this interception. It's already a two-possession game. By throwing this pick, now you wonder how many more opportunities will you get. And here comes the offense back out on the field now. Takes the handoff. It's Fletcher. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. They look to throw it here on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Martinez. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Back to pass. It's Ward. Caught in the flat by the running back. Dropped for a loss after the catch on third down. Sets up a fourth down now. The Canes will line up to punt it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. That costly red zone interception for the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Second down play coming up. There's the handoff. The Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. Here's the second down play. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. After being completion, the lineup here for a third and seven. Dropping back, he's going to throw for the first down. And he's got his man open downfield. Touchdown, Ohio State. This offense really clicking. Kirk, you look for rust. You look for jitters in the opening drive. Not any sign of it for that offense. You know, the offensive coordinator, when we talked with him this week, he had a feeling that this offense was going to be able to start fast. But I don't even know if he thought they would look this good this early. Coach deciding to go for two, trying to cut this lead to a field goal late in the game. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. He'll get in there for two points. Now the deficit, just a field goal. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fielded in the end zone, it's Joseph. Tackled at the 23, brought it out, tried to make a play, but good coverage that time. And Miami offense is back on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Looking for a gap is Fletcher. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call. And just keep working that clock. The game makes it second and medium. To throw, it's Ward. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They make the tackle, but it's a big game. All near midfield, spotted at the 49. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. On the handout, they'll test the right side here. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Now I 
like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. They'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. And try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. No it was an excellent on effort by this defense, just Third staying in their down run down. fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Restrepo. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. They've been very efficient. Three for four and four down. Now they're going for it again. An inside give now from the shotgun. Takes the football inside the 30, and that's a first down. It makes sense going for it here. Kind of in that no man's land, depending on how much faith you have in your kicker. And if you don't get it, your opponent still has a ways to go. Now you pick it up, and you can go get a touchdown. The Hurricanes are moving quickly down the field. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Positive yards are always important for offense, but at this stage in the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continually keep the ball in bounds. Gonna run it. It's Martinez. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Boy, as a head coach, you preach fourth quarter offense all year long. The importance of being able to finish out a game. This is a great example. They have secured this football, this drive. They've been able to convert on third downs, and they keep moving this clock. This is a clinic on how to run a four-minute offense. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball, and it's a short game. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Brought down at the three after an excellent running play. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. First and goal. Late touchdown here with just about secure the victory. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Bites his way in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds in closing this game out. Point after, up and good. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Smith. Solid coverage there. They get it at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. That now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Looking for his big tight end. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. They get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And the sophomore has got him for a sack. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Looking to pass. It's Howard. And that is interception number five as the nightmare performance continues. Not a big return, but the big ends the scoring threat. The offense will now take over at the 30. Oh, you feel terrible for this quarterback. He's played well all year. He's trying to make a play, trying to force it into coverage because they need points at this point in the game to try to advance into the next round of the playoffs. Puts it into coverage, and that's probably going to do it. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down play coming up for this offense. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. 
on the ground. It's Martinez. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. There's the snap, and he just takes a knee. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger, as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and, and be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically. And they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.